Andrew McCart, IFL TV, proudly sponsored by Everlast. I'm here with heavyweight Michael Hunter. Michael, you're fighting, I think it's just over three weeks maybe now in Miami. Talk to me about Mike Wilson, your opponent. Um, well, what people need to know is, uh, you know, I, I'm not going to look past him because I feel like he has kind of a reps like me. Like, um, is, he's had a lot of experience. Uh, you know, he was the, uh, you know, he's a national champion when I was uh, growing up. That was the face that I used to say that I needed to beat. So for us to, uh, you know, get back in the ring uh, once again, um, you know, I know we're much more experienced now. Um, and I know uh, I'm not looking past him. So I look forward to showing up and showing out on June 19th. I take it this is going to be, it's, 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 you're not looking past him in terms of this is a dangerous opponent for you. You can't slip up in, uh, on June 19th. Yeah, I would I would agree. Uh, he has a very he's 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 experienced. He's been boxing since he was 13. Uh, it's not very they're not it's not new to this game. Uh, you know, he's been boxing since he was a teenager. And anybody with that type of experience, he's been to world championships. He's um, I think that um, you know he's fought and you know he has the same amount of fights as me. Uh, I think the only uh, the only downside is uh, you know I've I've obviously fought the tougher opposition, but um, you know. Uh, I could, if you compare my, you know, rap sheet to anybody's, that's that's going to probably most likely be said anyway. So, um, you know, like you said, I, I have to, I think I have to uh, show up and show out, uh, let let my, uh, the people know that I'm here, and um, yeah, get with it. Talking about showing up and showing out, you said it here. Here comes the Hergovic question. Well, here it comes. Uh, you had the opportunity to face Hergovic um, and stuff like that. You were calling for Hergovic fight. You were doing it, but then obviously you said on your Twitter that Triller came out with a, a deal that you could not refuse. Can you understand the sort of backlash you're getting for not taking the the Hergovic fight and just chasing sort of like the money, so to speak? Actually, I, I mean, I haven't feel like I've gotten a lot of backlash. I mean, uh, you would obviously originally um, think that, but... You know anybody that knows the business uh, and know that this is the boxing business knows that th this that was an easy uh, you know easy thing. I think um, Eddie Hearn uh, kind of um, you know didn't really want the fight to happen. I was with them. Uh, I was with him for several fights, and me and Turkovich fought on the same cards. And um, I think that you know during the uh, purse bid, you know they originally didn't think I was going to have anybody to bid and. Uh, trailer uh, stood up and was gonna bid and when they found that out that was when all the extensions and all this different stuff happening and um, I think that uh, it was just bad business on their part you know and um, Team Sarlin I just don't think they really wanted to make the fight happen uh, they rather uh, get something else out of it why, why, why do you why do you think they, they wouldn't want the, the fight to happen it seems I watched Eddie's interview with Coogan yesterday and he said that it's on your part you call yourself the bounty hunter and there was a bounty there for you and you never took it so to speak as well so could, yeah that's because there was a bigger bounty in, <laughs> involved and um you know uh this is the point in my career that the first time i actually have any option before i fought because um you know that's who i am that's what i do you know what i'm saying uh even when i was with eddie i never not once uh, had any yes or no's to say about any fighter that they put in front of me. I've just fought them. So, uh, and I and I, and we had asked them about Hergovic. You know, they couldn't find him fights and they couldn't find me fights. And but we fought on the same cards. If you look at my opponents and we look at Hergovic's opponents when we fought on those cards, we could tell that there were uh, you know light years at different uh, competition. So, uh, if they really wanted to make the fight happen. They could have, um, you know, they could have did so, but you know, they wanted to play games and do things. Uh, like, why did they have to try to talk uh, Triller out of uh, the purse bid? They were originally bidding, and then that's when the extensions happened. So, uh, you know, they just got what you know what was coming. It's all business. Um, I'm, you know, I'm out here. Uh, I'm an independent type of a fighter, so uh, I'm not with the team. I want to. It's going to be very interesting to see uh, what um, the excuse that Eddie Hearn's gonna say when Anthony Joshua doesn't get in the ring with Usyk, when he does the same exact thing that I, I just did, but he does that for Usyk. So, but the only difference is Anthony Joshua and Eddie Hearn, they already got all the money in the bag, you know what I'm saying? Uh, so it's just, a, it's an easy one for me. Is this a one fight deal with Trello? What's the deal with this sort of, the partnership that you've got with Trello going forward? No, I actually got a, a multi-fight deal. Um, you know, who knows how long I'll be, be with them. Um, you know they're they're getting more and more to the uh, traditional boxing side, uh, but you know sticking along with the uh, 
with you know the artist and stuff like that so um you know i think it's a good look for me because it got brings new eyes you know and uh i just have to do my part so uh yeah it was a two fight deal and uh we'll see where it goes you've made it clear in numerous interviews and, and, and tv and stuff like that you want to fight the champions you want to become world champion in the heavyweight division do you think Trilla can maneuver you into a position where and maybe you talk about purse biz, they seem to be winning purse biz left, right and centre here, Trilla, but do you think they can maneuver you in a position where you can uh, face one of these champions, whoever it may be, Tyson Fury, Joshua or whoever? I, I, I think that's a very difficult thing, you know, um, people like Eddie Hearn and, um, um, you know, Al and them, they, they could have easily uh, did that, but uh, they didn't and those are the guys who have the belts. Um, so. Uh, to get through Eddie I, and to uh, get to matchroom and put them in a position where they have no other choices is, is going to be a very difficult one. But I think uh, me just getting my name out there, uh, me being the number one um, American heavyweight out here uh, and and getting my face out there. If I'm, you know, the biggest thing uh, for boxing uh, for boxers is uh, inconsistency. So I think that I've had the biggest challenge on being inconsistent. And um, I think this will give me a good uh, start in the race to be consistent and to show my face and to keep winning. I've got, you just talked about being the number one American heavyweight. When we talk about heavyweights of the past, we always talk about the American heavyweights. It seems Muhammad Ali, Mike Tyson, Sonny Liston, uh, Joe Frazier. There was always, you go back as Jack Johnson, as far back as Jack Johnson, there's always been a US heavyweight superstar domination of the sport. Right now, it seems like the UK, with like Joshua and Tyson and well, you've got Joe Joyce. We haven't had it in quite a while, you know. Uh, I'm going to ask, are you that man to, to take this division and grab it back for the American heavyweights? Absolutely, you know, it's, it's definitely a, a business situation, but when I get my hands in, on, on, these, uh, on these belts, then it's going to be hard to pry, pry it off of me, I guarantee that. And I think that that was one of the moves why uh, they didn't pick me for the uh, Anthony Joshua fight for Andy Ruiz. You know, I was a 7-1 favorite to take that fight. And they instead, they went across the board and fought somebody that they normally don't do. They don't never fight against PBC fighters, um, you know, but they did that time. And why is you, I mean, you, you tell me. So um, I think uh, that, um, I think that it is what it is and I have to, you know, continue to show face, you know, and uh, I think that's the best way for me to campaign as the American heavyweight uh, and to bring it back. Um, you know, we haven't had the, the we haven't had it in a long time. We've, uh, it was with Latimer, you know, uh, in, in the Kliskos in, in, in Germany prior. And uh, before that it was with uh, Lennox. So um, it's, been, it's been decades, um, several decades since we've actually uh, held it very strongly. But uh, definitely once I get that opportunity, y'all gonna know, you know what I'm saying? Well, the U.S. did have Deontay Wilder hold that WBC belt for a long time. So I want to talk about you, the arbitration ruling as well with Wilder and Fury. Uh, obviously, you're a boxing fan and you're in the heavyweight division. I'm guessing you're dis disappointed in, as well not to see that we don't get to see the undisputed fight with Joshua and Fury. But Wilder, Fury, three, three. Where are your thoughts on that? Well, I'm the one that said it was the, the original fight wasn't going to happen with Anthony Joshua, Tyson Fury. I didn't think that. I thought that. Um, it was hopeful, uh, wish, you know, wishful thinking on uh, Eddie Hearn's part. I think, um, you know, they kind of knew that there was a lot of things and a lot of uh, hurdles that they had to jump, and um, fortunately, fortunately, they had to, to crash into one. And um, I think that uh, with Deontay Wilder and um, Tyson Fury going at it a third time, I think that, I mean, it, it's a fight. Uh, I think that. Hopefully every, it'll all be, um, you know, settled after this and um, we won't see another one. <laughs> Going back to you then and Trilla, man, talk to me about Trilla, what they do with the artists and the whole entertainment value side of things and stuff like that. Are you a fan of it or well, you've, you're, I'm guessing you've not been a part of it just now, but have you seen the last one with Teofimo Lopez and, the, and that, are you a fan of all that sort of razzmatazz? Uh, I think it's, it's new, it's, um, you know, it's bringing new eyes, uh, it's nothing, um, it's actually nothing totally new about it. Uh, the boxing industry have done the same thing over, over, you know, decades and decades as far as um, 
you know, as far as the Jake Paul and like putting, saying that he's fighting, you know, soft opponents, you know, well, you know, they gave Deontay Wilder 25 soft opponents. They gave, you know, uh, you know, uh, traditionally, that's how, you know, you start, you know, with soft opponents. I think the big difference is Jake Paul and all these other uh, YouTubers were getting millions of dollars uh, to fight in beginning stages. Uh, some of these guys are never going to be fighters, uh, but, you know, I think it's a, uh, the, the sport is evolving in itself. You know, we're having MMA and all this different stuff. So uh, I think that uh, we just have to get with the times. I think eventually uh, it'll balance itself out and it'll all be good. Can you see yourself facing Hergovic on a trailer card? Maybe. Uh, I, I, I see myself facing Hergovic at some point in time. Uh, but on my terms, I feel like, uh, you know, they were trying to, you know, you know, it's just a business. You know, uh, I feel like they were not trying to be uh, nice, mis nice guys, and they were trying to go around it with with the best situation they could. And um, they got what you know, they got what what happened. Finally, then, Michael, we'll let you get back in the gym. Why should we tune into Trilla June nineteenth? You against Mike Wilson? Because there's going to be a lot of fireworks, a lot of knockouts, and Uncle Snoop going to be there. Uncle Snoop, <laughs> hey, well, I hopefully I'm going out there to see it, so I'll go and see Uncle Snoop. Never met Uncle Snoop before, so it's a dream of mine. Uh, Michael, thank you so much for doing this Fightful TV, and uh, hopefully I'll catch you in Miami. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you. Thank you very much.